everybody Simon here now this is an addition to the Bangkok Chronicles episode 13 I thought I'd go into a bit more detail about replica watches uh, for the few subscribers I have who are really into watches the study of, of horology timepieces uh, quickly I want to go over a couple of myths um, one of the main myths about replica watches is they're made in Switzerland or Italy I don't think there is any they're all made in Asia mostly China um, and I don't think there's any made in Switzerland and Italy maybe a couple of little pieces but I wouldn't have thought the watches are I think that's a myth um, then there's another myth about the grading you hear me talking about AAA replica watches which are the best the closest the most expensive replicas down to grade C which is at real cheap and nasties grade B is the ones you'll find which you'll pay about 1500 2000 baht for which is the common one you'll find at the good sellers around Asia um, but the grading is only done by the sellers and yourself a grade C you pick up a Rolex grade C and you shake it and the strap rattles really lightweight sharp edges around it uh, you can tell straight away they are uh, not good so they're grade C the grade B all the edges will be there won't be any sharp edges they'll have a sapphire glass scratch resistant and the strap will feel significant and feel quite good quite heavy and the watch is similar weight to the real one so the grading system is really a myth as well um, now the none of the replica watches to my knowledge are 27 jewels which is the best watches in the world are 27 jewels most replicas are 17 21 25 or 30 jewels but no 27 jewels movements in replicas the ETAs they just aren't any they cost too much to make that's another myth and then the metal that the replicas are made from the steel for instance Rolex use grade 904L which is three times the price of the standard 316L steel these watches are made from huge difference you can tell that just on brush steel you just look at it they, it is not as good as the main manufacturers use so anybody who says that a body on this watch is actually a real body but the insides not real that's not true unless that body's come out the back door of an original factory which I think wouldn't happen because they're not gonna be able to fit their movements uh, into the original bodies unless they've got the original movements the most common replica watches you'll find are automatic ones that you shake from side to side or on your wrist they will wind the watch up some have actually a self winding mechanism so you can wind them manually but after 48 hours if you leave it in the drawer next to your bed they will unwind and you'll have to put it back on your arm and reset it all next time you want to use it unless in your artillery you've got a self winding mechanism which you can buy again from China mainly off eBay and places and then you sit the watch on it and it'll keep the watch wound up um, but most movements on the automatic movements in replicas they're ETAs they're 28 24s 2836s and things for those of you that are into the technical details there is an Asian movement a 7750 uh, a Swiss 7750 you'll find in the AAA movements and there's quartz movements there's a Venus movement an Asian movement in these watches most of these watches the replicas have a good enough movement in them or a quartz that will last you if you take care of the watch and they'll last you years you hear of people who buy watches and they've lasted them 10 20 years they can do I've got one that's lasted me donkey's years these are my favorites the Amigas absolutely love the Amigas and the James Bond 007 Amiga Seamaster it's probably one of the most popular the Seamaster Professional there that's a gorgeous watch and the Planet Ocean those are all over the replica market 
and they're very close to the real thing if you look at them and the other top replica watch you're going to find around Asia Breitlings this here's the Navimeter uh, popular watch but the most popular Breitling are these Breitling Bentley the Bentley cars um, commission these and these are the Bentley with different faces different dials and they're a heavy watch with a 43 millimeter glass uh, bezel so most of them have got automatic movements although I do possess one with a quartz movement which actually keeps really good time very popular 1500 2000 baht if you can find a triple A uh, top of the range replica you're gonna have to go into Comtom and Sampeng in 2017 those markets have been closed and moved but in the alleyways the sellers are still there you can still get those triple A ones but you'll pay two three four hundred dollars for them be prepared but the quality much better movements another popular tag Hua, if I pronounce that right uh, tag in the old days used to be one of the ultimates this is the one of the common tags you'll find it's the Monaco very famous watch very good looking watch and one tip I would say if you can find Mont Blanc watches if you're into the replica you want a Mont Blanc there is some fabulous Mont Blanc replicas out there really nice now these pages I'm showing you here this is I've been to Google I've typed in replica watches and there's hundreds of companies selling these watches they're buying from China from Alibaba or somewhere and they're paying about $30 for these watches the grade B's and they're selling them for a hundred plus dollars so you can see the market they're making I've never bought from one of these companies myself I'd like to actually handle a watch before I would make a purchase so no idea what they're like um, another popular watch is the Hublo Hublo however you pronounce it my apologies the Formula One the rose gold watches they're famous the who very nice watches but big chunky watches um, the Rolex is the it's the submariners that people tend to buy these are the submariner here and then there's Daytona's and uh, other models but so many different color faces on the replica market the GMT here is a very popular one as well it's got the second hand there as well as the uh, the GMT hand there's, so there's four hands on that that's the difference on the GMT uh, oh Patek Philippe one of the most expensive watches in the world again you can get lovely replicas of them very nice really good IWC is another make you'll find replicas a lot of them and U-Boat is a new one but that's a cheaper company but I've suddenly seen lots of those floating around IWC beautiful Audemars PK another one of the top most expensive watches in the world um, there's replicas of these and they're quite common those ones Cartier and then you can get ladies watches and all these watches there's a lot of ladies ones as well in the replica market loads and loads price wise grade C the junk watches six seven eight hundred baht these type grade B fifteen hundred to two thousand baht and the triple A watches you'd be paying anything up to twenty thousand baht for them but then you're in the territory of homage watches and you can buy really good watches original watches is it worth buying them you do have to ask yourself this when you're starting to look at the AAA watches I did buy a few and they're incredible oh, some, again around the hundred pound mark these are hundred and twenty dollars these are just sites I found by typing in replica watch and there's absolutely thousands of these companies selling this stuff loads around so there we go just thought I'd give some technical spec and some details to a few of the guys that have asked for it as I said um, you'll find a watch within ever with within 500 meters of you if you're anywhere in Bangkok there are thousands of shops and little boutiques selling them 
the replicas well it's it's illegal to sell replicas to my knowledge it's not a good market to get into buying and selling don't do it you're not helping anybody by doing that and you could be getting into trouble but if you're a collector you don't want to scratch your original watch you buy a replica of it to take out I can understand that or if you like me working class you can't afford some of the big originals but you'd like to have some dress watches a great conversation pieces why not why not indeed anyway so there we go uh, that was episode 13 and a half of the Bangkok Chronicles just to give you a bit more information and detail on the watches hope that helps answer a couple of your questions and I'll catch you on the next video bye for now